Metra is Chicago's commuter rail system with lines that spoke out in every direction from downtown Chicago. Chicago is famous for its fleet of double-decker commuter trains that go one way with the locomotive pulling and the other with the engineer sitting in a cab control car with the engine pushing. These cars are regular passenger cars but with the locomotive cab upstairs at one end of the car. Today, June 6, 2002, we'll be riding in the cab car on Metra's Fox Lake line from Grays Lake to Chicago. Our engineer today is Frank Marling, and you'll also be hearing commentary from Metra Media Relations person Frank Malone. While most of the trains on this line go to and from Fox Lake, some trains make a short turn from Chicago to Grays Lake, such as the one that we are riding on today. Leaving the station, we pull off of the siding and onto the main line. Due to the short amount of time that we had to set up the camera equipment in the cab, our coverage of the line does not really begin until the station stop in Libertyville. So you've got a lot of, hmm? you got a lot of curves and stuff on this part of the line. Yeah, it's kind of neat, you know. It's different. And coming down from uh, the crossing all the way down here to the river is all downhill. It's really kind of freight train. You can, you know, you better grab a hold of it. Or yeah. it takes you a long time to go up the hill sometimes. So, you know. Here is junction switch. That's the old uh, main line, I guess, when, the, when they just ran the Liberty Bill. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. The line that we are riding on was built in 1872 as the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul, built from Western Avenue in Chicago to the Wisconsin state line. The line became known as the Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul, and Pacific in 1927. Of course, the railroad was often referred to as the Milwaukee Road. In 1984, a Metra purchased the line as far as Fox Lake, where freight railroad Wisconsin and Southern ownership begins. <laughs> Now your bell thing is over there, just push that in. Yeah, your thrill. Yeah, that's the bell. Yeah. Push it in. Yeah. I was going to say you can blow for the crossing up here if you can reach it. Yeah, I'll let you do that. <laughs> they did a nice job on the uh, work. You know, last, last month they were. Yeah, this is all. all we got right a lot now. of new, new cross ties in here and new ballast. Yeah. Interstate. 94. 94, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
close to Milwaukee and beyond. What are some of the demands of running a commuter train? Go ahead, dude. What do you need to do there? Safety, time, you know, uh, sometimes the schedules can get pretty hairy around here. Uh, of course, it depends on the equipment. Like, there's some locomotives that are really slow, you know, and draggy, and there's some that, boom, just take off. Weather conditions, you know, there's all sorts of things that we take into consideration. But I know we try to run them on time, and uh, usually I think we do a pretty good job. We're approaching the junction at Roundout. On the left, the former Milwaukee Road Line to Milwaukee, now owned by Canadian Pacific, comes in to join us. Then we will pass under the former Chicago, North Shore, and Milwaukee Electric Interurban Line before crossing the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern. What line is this we cross? It's the EJ&E. It comes from Waukegan. You'll see the old platform here. They used to stop trains here. Milwaukee Road. Now, I've never seen it, but there used to be a Nepo right over here, I guess, right, yes, Frank? Yeah, right. <coughs> now, the one thing that EJ and he, the one purpose is they can bring up uh, coil steel from Gary or down south there. And then one of our guys will take it up to Milwaukee. But, uh, I've sat here for a couple hours on a freight train waiting for the J to deliver that steel. You know, then we would take it up to A.L. Smith in North Milwaukee. It gets a little confusing because our branch is called the J line. Oh and, yeah. And that's nothing to do with the E J and E, which no. is also referred to as the J. So. The J, yeah. <laughs> so you have the J line, the J. But We used to have a switch engine that started here at Roundout and went up to, uh, you know, Walworth and Fox League. Mm -hmm. I used to work with that. And then, uh, Back in the Milwaukee Road days. Hey, Les, give me a quick... There you go, thank you. Want some water? Oh, please. Yeah. You want some water? Right. water, water, water. Yeah. I forgot to load up on the left. Thank you. It's almost much. actually kind of cold. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Now we're in 79 mile an hour territory. Yeah. And that thing you heard is the alerter. That goes off, and I have to acknowledge it. You know. So, is this automatic brake stop type of thing? Uh, not like the Northwestern has, no. you know, I mean, this is, no, uh, this, this is CTC. Yeah. But I have to acknowledge that every time it goes mm -hmm. otherwise the train will stop, but, you know. I have a funny story to tell you after we get through Lake Forest. I think Frank knows it, it's, it's become a, a legend, well not a legend, it's, it's become the funniest story currently. I, I've met the, Yes, I'll tell you right now that um, a few weeks ago, a Union Pacific track inspector of some sort mistakenly put his vehicle on this route rather than over on their on their freight line. Apparently, he was not from this this part of the country, and all he knew is his his instruction said put on at that particular crossing. Well, it's the same road that crosses their line that crosses ours. Well, he got on the track, and they, he and the other guy, I guess, got back in. They just started north, but coming right at him is Amtrak, 79 <laughs> miles an hour. They bailed. Amtrak hit their vehicle. We were shut down for at least an hour. Oh, yeah. At least. Mercy. Well, they were fortunate. 
And I'd like to know what ever became of him. I think he's probably, uh, who knows what he's doing these days. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. He probably had a spotless record. Yeah. And, you know, with all this, these mergers and stuff, he probably came, he worked for the UP out in California. Somewhere, somewhere, yeah. Came like, over here. And, you know, the funny thing about it is he was, he was on the right track. I mean, for their north, because they're opposite of our mm -hmm. north and... I yeah, mean, they're, 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 they're left-handed. Left yeah. yeah, so he was on the right track yeah. to go northbound. He did everything right on yeah. the wrong railroad. On the wrong railroad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you when we get... It's, uh... Geez, I can't remember anymore. Was that it the, Dundee Road. Dundee Road. Yeah. North, the north side of Deerfield? Uh, or no, north, south of, north of Northbrook. North south of Northbrook. That's south right. of Lakewood yeah. Road. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I bet he's getting a lot of ribbing in the locker room. What do you think? Yeah. Well, it could have been an unmitigated disaster. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, they just got out of that thing at night. And it was on a curve, so Amtrak was southbound coming around the curve. And then they saw him. That's what these yellow signs are here for, right, Frank? So we don't forget. Yeah. Yes, so. <laughs> they found that these are, you know, the the, uh, the lighting block signs. Mm-hmm. Because it's easy to stop like this, and you are coming on a some kind of restricting signal, like an approach or something, and, and you forget about, you know, yeah. the signal is, and the next one's red. Now here we can see the signal, but you can see on the J line we have some curves and stuff where you're in a yeah. block that you're, you know. So you have to proceed at restricted speed? No, 40 miles an hour until you can see, see, until you see the, the next signal. signal. Yeah. The double track railroad that we are now on is owned by Metra, with Canadian Pacific ownership ending at Roundout. From here to near Union Station, the railroad is maintained by Metra, but as part of the purchase agreement is dispatched by the CP in Minneapolis. Although we won't see any on our trip, freights regularly use this line as well as Metra and Amtrak trains that we will be seeing. I think so, because uh, that's right. Yeah, we're over. We'll see somebody. Uh, we'll meet a guy up here at uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get a couple freight trains for you. We, we passed two of them going out the Grays Lake this morning. And we should get an Amtrak 1030 out of downtown, I think. Right.
cross over and out near field, you can cross over it and round out near field. Tower 820, where I'll show you, that's where our freight train is going to go. So this line is totally bi-directional signals yeah. and so forth? Yep. And here we don't whistle for the crossing. It's, uh, you know, we don't have to. Okay. If they're expecting snow, they're working on a switch here. <laughs> Here's the airfield, it's, a, it's an old station. It's, uh, I'll point it. Either of all, really most stairs. I think the city owns everything. Suburban trains start here. Uh, that was long before my mm -hmm. era. But, uh, well, we still have one Deerfield turn in the morning. Right, but I mean that it would actually go to work here. You know, oh, I see. Yeah. up here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I see what you mean. Where did they? Oh, we had a little yeah. yard over here, didn't we? Right, I think yeah. over here, because there yeah. used to be a couple tracks over here. Yeah, around. that's right. Hey, no more. This, this was a, a level grade crossing. Yeah, right here used to be a grade crossing. It was a terrible. Thank God you just, they, they separated here. Otherwise... Well, I think this is one of the best deals at Metro, you know, as far as uh, oh, yeah. stations and... Absolutely. I think we get as many people coming out as we do going in. Almost.
CP in front of us? No, I think some uh, uh, track and train. Oh, yeah. See, now, now we're going to be on an approach which is yeah. 40 miles an hour. So, uh, I think that's why he goes up there. But here, see, he got on the track right here, I think. Mm -hmm. And you're on a blind curve, yeah. Now, just a mile down that way east, the northwestern. Yeah, right over there. And, and it's the, the same type of deal here. It's, it's, it's rural. It's, and it's double track, double same track. front. But anybody, every rail fan, every railroader knows there's a difference in ballast. Yes, yes. <laughs> Their ballast, this, you know right away this is not the unit, the X Northwestern. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. I can't see the signal yet. Well, that's the same guy trying it again. Yeah, there, there you go. The track. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we have a clear at 820. Yeah. Now, you see that bridge up ahead? Mm -hmm. That's the Northwestern uh, freight line up to Milwaukee. Okay. And uh, we run our freight trains on the Northwestern from Shermer to uh, Bryn Mawr. They get the best of the He's going to have to get off that track pretty soon. Yes, he is, because he's going to have. Uh, Amtrak for the dog. Yep. That's the Metro. Because he knows what he's doing. Um, so you, you won't know until we get to CUS if you, uh, you want to go directly to Randolph. Yeah, I'll put, uh, yeah, I'll let you well, when we get out I'll we'll discuss. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can keep the door open. <laughs> Well, like I was saying, uh, have you been out to our Bensonville yard? No. Uh -uh. Well, that's the Milwaukee Roads uh, yard for CP now. Mm -hmm. See, we come down this way, and then we go over the northwestern to Bryn Mawr, which is on the west end of O'Hare Airport. Then we come into our own yard, and the northwestern would continue in the proviso yard. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Some freight trains come down this way like intermodal trains. They'll go all the way down to Tower 85. So the freights diverge off of here? Right. Yeah, they go up that way. So now you won't be able to see it now, but like during the winter you can see the signals up there. And that's called Sherman So, but the part we're on now still does see some intermodal trains and yeah. such? And if there's a wreck, you know, I mean, yeah. so you can get into Bensonville two ways, which right. is kind of smart. This is the primary freight line over here.
over here is the old Glenview Navy base. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, a bunch of homes. And this is the newest depot on the line here in North Glenview. Opened in January last year. January? Yeah. Was that, yeah. January 8th. I'll never forget it. It was miserable. It was. Yeah, I can't. In fact, I think I was on this job. And there, there were uh, got about what 15, 20 people come out to the opening day. Now, according to twenty one thirty by my post nineteen. Schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Frank, how about bringing some of the main nines back? <laughs> That's a dream, I'm afraid. <laughs> you liked running those? Yeah. Unfortunately, I hired out in uh, 74, so they were just... In fact, these F-40s are, you know, we came on the railroad at the same time. But mm -hmm. we were running F E units and F units up here on this line for quite a while. Up until, when did we get rid of them? About, about 87, 88? I don't know. That was before my time. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, somewhere in there. Why would you like an E9 versus a newer unit? Just nostalgia, I suppose. Just, okay. Just, you know, it's a little more, I don't know. I, I'm just curious. <laughs> You're a real fan, you know how that goes. Yeah. Well, they were beautiful locomotives. Yeah. Well, I was wondering if there was just any operational. As far as operating, these are superior. I mean, yeah. you have brakes on these things, you know. Uh, they, and the E9s are really at the work. Let's mm -hmm. put it that way. Yeah. You know. Uh, no, these locomotives are just, you know, they have that blended brake and, and uh, I can't beat that. But. Actually, I think a good steam excursion would be kind of nice around here. Yeah. <laughs> Frank doesn't say anything about that. Well. There will be one, the, the UP Challenger. Are they coming on our line? No, they'll be, they'll be out in West Chicago, out that way. Well, when was it, last summer? When did that uh, train come down off the S WSOR to Fox Lake? Was that last summer? Uh, I don't remember. I believe so, yes. Yeah. But it was pretty messy. Oh yeah. Well, Milwaukee 261 is supposedly coming down here shortly. I've seen that one over on the WC. Coming down here? Uh-huh. Not, not on Metro, but oh, down yeah. Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> Made a little girl's day. Yep. I bet they were sharp. Oh man. I've actually fired for some of the guys that I talked to when I was a little kid. Oh, They're uh -huh. all gone now, uh -huh. but you know. <clears throat> yeah. Well, before the end, it was fit and polished in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Mm
two disconnected sections and uh, one, you know, one end is still 79 miles an hour with Amtrak, but it, historically it doesn't start anywhere or end anywhere. Yeah, it's just kind of hanging out there, yeah. Let's, uh, I hate to interrupt you. On the left here you'll see another example of what's happening around Metro with this new housing. Uh -huh. Now this is kind of sleepy Morton Grove and all of a sudden it's starting to look like a whole different mm -hmm. community. This is all new on the left. And I think there's more coming. And so of course that's going to impact your station and your yeah. parking. And well, they'll, they'll be wanting a new station any day now because this one's kind yeah, of This is all the parking here. You know, Nothing. Yeah. 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 It's no longer just a weekday, you know, railroad. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you have people all the time, which is nice. And whoever came up with that $5 weekend fare deal is. Yeah, well, wasn't that a... Oh, problem. that was sharp, yeah. yeah. That's a steal. Why? Well, well, good. it's good. The people in the <laughs> Chicago area, the, the trains are really part of their culture and their lives. They, yeah, they've been around all the time. Yeah. But see, like I said, instead of just taking people into the city and back out at night, now people are learning to, oh, I drive, we'll take the train down to the museum or 
uh, lakefront or you know I mean, mm -hmm. uh, last weekend man we were packed with uh, all those people from uh, what was it, Blues Fest or yeah, something Blues. like that? Yeah. yeah. I week. came out on the 1035 and we were back, and, but we had people going in at, the more, uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, from Fox mm -hmm. Lake, we had six cars, they were just back. You know, which is a nice way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Looks like they're going to put in a new crossing here. They have a snap track over there, see it? Mm -hmm. Slide it in. You got anything coming on the one like? We used to switch all this stuff out. When I hired out here, we'd have a switch engine going there. And, and uh, a lot of industry along there at one time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think of how many carloads that is. Yeah. How far, uh, where does Amtrak run on that line? Just down to Indianapolis and then cut over? Uh, that they run o across on what used was one time the Peoria and Eastern or, or the New York Central to Crockersville. And then they go all the way up to uh, Munster, Indiana, and then they, they, cut, off. they cut off. Then the southern part of the Monon is still there, and the fans like it because it's got semaphores still. Still? Yeah. yeah. I went out to Los Angeles. Uh, we went out to Disneyland two years ago. Took the, uh, the chief? The chief, and I was uh, amazed that there's still semaphores out there in New Mexico. Oh, tons and, of them. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, it was really great. Uh, yes, right now, we're still here because they're uh, racing baseball, uh, one shot, CFL. Uh, excuse me, nobody's doing it. They're still, they're still going to have one shot, CFL. Yeah, they're still going to have one shot, CFL. They're still going to have one shot, now we're coming into Edgebrook. This is the uh, uh, now we're in Chicago. This is the further north, northern uh, part of Chicago. And it was right up here that uh, back in the early 50, 50s or something like that, a uh, Hiawatha engine threw a rod here. Ooh. Can you imagine that? Yeah. I wonder how far that flew. Tore up all this stuff. And, uh, there's an article in uh, Classic uh, Trains, I think. Mm -hmm. If I knew you were going to be here, I would have brought it over for you. But, uh, We have three crossings here, so when something goes wrong here, you really have to stay up. Mm -hmm. Now we'll meet the suburban train at Main Fair. Chicago, uh, North Branch, Chicago River. So we've 
next stop will be Raymond. Thank you. 
now owned by Metro 2? No, this is Amtrak. Oh, this yeah, is, okay, okay. that's right. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't think Metro ever owned it. I, I, no, I think uh, it went right from Frank. Right, right. Yeah. We own it up to, uh, uh, we own it up to approximately Canal. Oh, really? Yeah, it's Metro. Oh. It's Metro oh, all the way through here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Up to, um, well, more or less. Somewhere west of Canal Street. Oh. Canal or Clinton. Maybe it's Clinton. I can't remember. The next stop. Oh, that's a pretty recent equation. No, it goes back. That's why Amtrak's doing all that track work, and we're not. But anything anything from there on, we, you we see. Do it. Yeah, yeah, that's why right. I've never yeah. seen Amtrak out there. No, here. you yeah. wouldn't. No.
Yeah, I'm keep the position signal here now. Mm-hmm. All good things have to come to an end, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Another thing to add to the list, though, right? Yeah. And the next signal bridge is an old L train bridge. Mm. That was, it used to be an L line. It's, it kept the bridge there for obvious reasons. I think that L line's been discontinued since the 20s. I mean, it was really an early. Uh, well, I was reading about it. In the it was operating until they built the second. Uh, yeah, the 40s. Yeah, definitely. Now, over here used to be an old. Uh, I think this was Neyman Street Yard, just a very few mm -hmm. uh, tracks. Pennsylvania switched it out. Uh, yeah, tons of little yards along here. here. As you have just heard, we are now on former Pennsylvania Railroad trackage known as the Panhandle Line. Behind us, the Pensy once looped around to go southbound, bypassing downtown Chicago. For many years, the trackage that we are on was owned jointly by the Milwaukee Road and the Pensy. Yesterday afternoon would have been a real nice day. stunning day. Sometimes when you come down here in the evening, you know, you can see a real nice sunset reflecting off of the buildings, and then when you come back in, you know, a couple hours later, uh, it's so clear. Mm -hmm. Pretty stunning at night, I would Oh, yeah. Is it as long as we see all the buildings standing, you know that everything's so big so far, which is a good sight. <laughs> you don't know, realize how nice the skyline is until... The big problem up here is all this development. Uh -huh. If we ever needed to put more main back in there or something, we can't do it, can't yeah. do it anymore. So the capacity will be squeezed forever. And that could be a problem. Yeah. The first overpass is Halstead Street. The second one is this plane where you can walk across. Here on your yeah. left, there's an old uh, Pennsylvania freight house. Mm -hmm. and it still has a keystone. It's on the other side, you know, it will come in west. Uh -huh. but so I have the keystone and the bricks, yeah. which is kind of neat. Yep. And there's an old Milwaukee Road freight house down there that still has the Milwaukee Road uh, sign on it. It'd be nice to get a hold of that, but that would be pretty heavy. Maybe they're going to build all in here, huh? Frank, I suppose. Oh, I think so, the way, it's, the way it looks. See how close this up here on the other side of this plane. Yeah, there's that, that, that never that stuff was never there. So we're dead. Unless we can do something on the north side, but I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, be pretty tight. You yeah. know, you could just have a switch. Could, uh. And the funny part about it is CMC owns all this stuff. I know, but they've been selling it off as fast yeah. as they can. They made some cash on that. Oh yeah. Now, over here is the old Milwaukee, and you can tell it's a Milwaukee freight house. Sure it's can. Pretty, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, a sign, if you look back, past the second level here, you can see the old Milwaukee road. Big metal sign up there. Now approaching. Oh, yeah. You see it up there? Uh -huh. Now, if you look around here at Canal Street, you'll see the uh, Pennsylvania market. Uh, right there, the blue thing on, on the little shed there. Oh, uh huh. See what milepost it is. Milepost zero for us, but 400 and something for <laughs> Yep. Or, I mean, uh, do they have a milepost thing on it? No. Yeah, they're on the side. Yep. <laughs> 
Just before we enter Union Station, we cross onto Amtrak ownership of the track. At the time of this cab ride, Amtrak was doing massive track rebuilding into Union Station. Pretty soon this will all be built over, I imagine. See, this is basically no here. Mm, well, tear down and probably go out and shoot a few more frames. <laughs> 